Grace be unto you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. The 10th of October, Monday of the week of Pentecost 18. George Washington Carver, 1860-1943, who you might remember has written practically everything that we know about the peanut and to my knowledge has not much been expanded since he has so thoroughly covered that. This from an American biography of him. I asked the great creator what the universe was made for. Ask for something more in keeping with that little mind of yours, he replied. What was man made for? Little man, you still want to know too much. Cut down the extent of your request and improve the intent. Then I told the creator I wanted to know all about the peanut. He replied that my mind was too small to know all about the peanut, but he said he would give me a handful of peanuts. And God said, Behold, I have given you every herb-bearing seed which is upon the face of the earth. To you it shall be for meat. I have given every green herb for meat, and it was so. I carried the peanuts into my laboratory and the creator told me to take them apart and resolve them into their elements. With such knowledge as I had of chemistry and physics, I set to work to take them apart. I separated the water, the fats, the oils, the gums, the resins, sugars, starches, pecoses, pencils, amino acids, there, I had the parts of the penis all spread out before me. I looked at God and he looked at me. Now, you know what the peanut is. And the prayer. Walter R. Flex, 1887, 1917. O God, who art the giver of every good and perfect gift, Grant thine aid to all who carry on the work of research. Bestow both skill and learning on those who are seeking to understand the mysteries of nature for the good of their fellow men. Reward their patient labors and their willing exposure to unknown risk by granting them an abundant harvest of useful discovery, and increase of knowledge through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen.